And now to New Jersey, where authorities are investigating after a small plane crashed into a home yesterday in Woodbridge Township. The pilot was killed and the house completely destroyed. Laura Podesta has been following this story for us now. I mean, the house is destroyed. There was a fire. Sort of give us the play by play of what happened. Well, Anne Marie, we've now learned that the pilot who was killed in this crash is Dr. Michael Schloss. He's a cardiologist and he was just minutes from landing at nearby Linden Airport. The plane went down at about 11 a.m., not far from an elementary school in a New Jersey suburb of New York City. It crashed into a home, sending flames and thick black smoke into the air. There is one person on board that was fatally injured. There is no reports right now that there was anyone in the home. We're very happy to learn that. Stephen uh, Smith that lives nearby. The flames were about 30 to 40 feet high, and the whole first floor, second floor was on fire. National Transportation Safety Board investigator Adam Gerhardt said flames eventually traveled to a third home. Crews will now use a bulldozer to get to the charred Cessna 414. It may take additional time before the plane is fully recovered and a cause of the crash can be determined. As we pull that wreckage out piece by piece, we'll be examining the condition of those components, such as the flight controls, the engine. The flight took off from Leesburg, Virginia, with only the pilot aboard. Authorities say it was headed to an airport in Linden, New Jersey, roughly four miles from the crash site. Preliminary information indicates air traffic control lost contact with the pilot just after he was cleared for landing. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. That video is so dramatic. I just can't imagine what the pilot was going through at the time. It looks a little hazy there. What was the weather like? So it was misty and it was cloudy at the time of the crash. And the okay. NTSB says that the pilot was using instruments that um, pilots who are experienced typically use when there is low visibility. Okay. And from what we're seeing posted on Facebook and other social media channels, his friends say that he was an experienced pilot. He was an experienced pilot. So then where do we go next with this investigation? So Cessna 414s are small aircraft. They don't typically have a black box or a flight recorder. That's usually reserved for commercial aircraft. So right now right. it's about going through the charred wreckage, um, checking the flight pattern and any communication that Dr. Schloss had with air control to figure out why exactly he went down. Well, I certainly feel terrible for his family, but when I look at this fire here and the houses, it's really remarkable that no one else was, was Thankfully, hurt Thankfully, no one was home at yeah. that time. All right, Laura, thank you very much. Thanks.